Good morning. Good morning. All right, so it is Friday today and I am on call next week. So it means I need to get everything that I was supposed to do this week done today, which means I need to cram all the work that I did not finish from Monday to Thursday for today. Today is probably gonna be the busiest day I've had this entire week because number one, I still need to set up a bunch of deployments. Number two, I still need to finish a bunch of the projects that I said I was going to do. Number three, even though I said I was gonna work on school related stuff earlier this week instead of waiting to the weekend, I didn't do that. I ended up having what I would call productive procrastination, which is working on my YouTube videos and also eating healthier. And also, not only that, I need to go to ICBC today to change my driver's license to a Vancouver, BC driver's license. I never did it because when I was a student, I didn't have to do it. Today is the best day to do it before I head back to five days a week because I can just sit there and go to the equipment. Also, today I'm supposed to go and watch a movie as well. So I don't even know if I have enough time to work on my school related stuff. So yeah, basically get all my project related stuff done today before I go on call next week. And then, try to at least look at the schoolwork that's due on Sunday. All right, let's get the day started with some tea. Did some work today, this morning, very, very productive. And also just had my lunch. And now I just have to run into the ICBC and get my driver's license switched. I recently bought this thing for measuring my food. Seems pretty useful. So let me just quickly open this up. I am definitely excited to use this to measure because I never know how much food I'm actually eating. Sometimes I feel a little bit bloated, sometimes I don't. So maybe this will actually help me figure it out a little bit more. Okay, anyways, I gotta race to the appointment. My doctor told me not to drive, but I'm just gonna do it anyway since it's only five minutes away. I technically could just take the sky train, it's about the same amount of time, but I don't want to uh, I don't wanna do it. Ugh. All right, well, that was a complete waste of time. First of all, they told me that I didn't have a primary form of ID. And I was like, what's a primary form of ID? Why is my why am I able to use my Nexus card to go across the country, but it's not a primary form of ID? And they were like, oh, it doesn't really count. You have to use a Canadian passport, which, which is okay, fine, fine. And then they were like, all right, you have to like come back like a couple weeks from now to like, with your like primary um, primary ID. So now I have to wait like a couple weeks. I don't understand why between provinces they just don't have some system to like just sync it together. Plus, apparently the insurance for my Honda Civic, this piece of crap car, 2018, is supposed to be like $500 per month or something crazy. Don't understand. Okay, I'm done my rant. Okay, I am back. That whole driver's license whole ordeal was such a disaster. I have to rebook the appointment because I didn't have my Canadian passport. Anyways, I do have this new scale thing. Apparently nuts have very high calories, so it's really good to get an idea of how much I'm actually, like how much I'm actually eating. Grams, put this on here, and this to zero, and four. Hmm, not bad. This is about like 40 grams, so I think it should be pretty good, yeah. My snack is officially unsalted mixed nuts instead of chips nowadays. And let me tell you, I am definitely feeling the chip withdrawal. Like I'm starting to dream about having, uh, you know, all dressed chips, but not having available at home. Don't know why I'm doing this suffering, but this is what happens when you get older. Just like that, another day over. 
Probably didn't do as much as I wanted to, but that's okay. The rest of the day will be movie time and hopefully some school-related work so I don't get overwhelmed tomorrow and Sunday. Instead of working, I'm watching Emma Chamberlain. I just don't understand how she can be so entertaining while just talking about just like normal stuff. It's crazy to me. I'm a software engineer. My life is not that interesting. I just sit in front of a desk and work. I'm definitely curious how she's able to do such a minimal editing and also be super, super interesting where millions of people watch her vlogs when she was at her peak. Okay, I gotta show this one thing. Look, she's at Whole Foods and look, oh, that, did you guys see that? Right there, those raspberries. That is the exact same brand as the raspberries that we have in Costco. Let me show you. See, same brand of raspberries. So. I don't know, I just thought that was kind of interesting because I shop at Costco, but technically I'm getting some Whole Foods healthy stuff. This is huge progress in terms of my diet. Good morning, everyone. Yesterday's movie was a lot. It was called Memories of Murder, the second movie made by Bong Joon-ho, who was the director of Parasite and Snowpiercer. Two really great movies. I also really liked Oakshot, by the way. And I did not know anything about this movie, but long story short, it is about real-life events of murder cases that went unresolved. And... I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's hard for me to handle like these types of movies. So I pretty much had to spend the entire night digesting the whole thing and I did not do any schoolwork. Oh, I have a food order. Because of that, this entire morning is just gonna be dedicated to me figuring out how much trouble I'm in for school. Okay. Oh my gosh. So instead of doing the assignment, I literally was, so basically went to Home Depot, got some plants, and then went to Ikea, then went, instead of doing the homework, went to get some hot pot ingredients to have hot pot at night. And basically now I am a little bit into the assignment and I'm realizing how much of an undertaking it is. It's not difficult, but it's asking me to read from 15 to 20 peer reviewed articles and then writing a summary about them, essentially on how educational technology can be beneficial and using it to serve as my research base for a potential educational technology project that I am supposed to do. I'm only on the seventh peer reviewed article. So I basically need to read like 10 more at least to get to 17. And then I still have another course where I need to write like some eight page paper for. Trying to space this out over a week did not work. I'm gonna have to do all this tomorrow on Sunday. So Sunday is just gonna be absolutely miserable. And then next week, I'm also gonna be on call. So tomorrow's gonna be awful and then I'm gonna be on call. Viewers, please pray for me. All right, it might look like it's the same day, but it's not. It's literally Sunday night. I spent the entire day 5,000 something words. I'm finally done the assignment. I had to go through 16 papers about educational technology, write summaries about them, write critiques, write things that I'm interested in, which, oh my goodness. Again, it probably was not a good idea to wait until Saturday and Sunday to do this, but we got it done. So hopefully we can do better next time. All right, I'm tired. See you guys in the next vlog.